Hello strangers, welcome to Albert Reads the Hits. I am Albert Strange, and this is The Secret Behind the Number Ones. Uh, today we're going back to the 1950s, traveling back in time a bit, just like Marty McFly. Uh, we had uh, I'm a Bee by the Black Eyed Peas by the uh, 2010s on the, uh, on the last video. And now we're going back to the 50s, back to the golden age, the golden oldies. Uh, this is the, uh, the third number one song of, uh, of the decade. And it is none other than, uh, not quite yet, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There should be a little, a little picture of me right there. Click on that icon, that will help you to subscribe. Hit the notification bells, and uh, that way you'll find out whenever I drop a video. I've been doing uh, almost one a day for the past week or two, and I intend to keep that, uh, keep that volume going for the foreseeable future. I want to grow the channel, but I can't do it without your help. So please subscribe, watch the videos, tell your friends about it. I appreciate it in advance. When you do subscribe, just write, uh, write, a, write a comment in the comment section. Imagine that. Just saying, I subscribed, or a new subscriber here, or I got, I'm going to get my friends to subscribe too. That's great. I will reply to anything that you write in the, uh, in the comments. And, uh, and let's, uh, let's just get to the song now, all right? The, uh, the third number one song of the 1950s is none other than Rag Mop by the Ames Brothers. Yes, you heard that correctly, Rag Mop. Um, it's a song about um, cleaning utensils, you know, a rag and a mop. Um, I, you, you gotta, you gotta listen to this song. It's, it's not like anything that you would hear today. Let me just say that. It was, uh, it was number one for one week, uh, from, uh, February 11th to February 18th. That means it was number one on Valentine's Day in 1950. This was the number one song. Uh, the song itself was, uh, written by, uh, Johnny Lee Wills and, uh, Deacon Anderson in 1949. Um, I'd never heard of any of them either. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Lee Wills is actually a pretty, uh, pretty prolific songwriter and performer um, in the 40s and 50s. He has a street named after him in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So if you're in Oklahoma, if you're in Tulsa, uh, you know, take, take a picture of yourself on Johnny Lee Wills Road or Boulevard or whatever it might be called. and. Uh, and send me send me a picture. You know, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I would love to see a picture of somebody on Johnny Lee Wells' road. Uh, so the song itself, um, again, it was the 1950s, 1950 uh, at that, and um, it was. Actually, let's, let, let, let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. Okay. So, um, Rag Mop by the Ames Brothers. M, I say M O, M O P, M O P P, mop, M O P P, mop, 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 mop. R, I say R A, R A G, R A G G, rag, R A G G, M O P P, rag mop. Do 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 da di a da, rag mop. Do 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 da di a da, rag mop. Do do do. Da di a da rag mop. Do 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 da di a da rag mop. Do 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 da di a da r a g g m o p p rag mop. A, I say a b, a b c, a b c d, a b c d e, a b c d e f g h i. I say m o, m o p, m o p p mop. M O P P mop 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 R I say R A R A G R A G G rag R A G G M O P P rag mop do 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 da di a da rag mop do 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 da di a da rag mop do 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 da di a da rag mop do 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 da di a da rag mop do 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 da di a da rag R A G G M O P P rag mop Mop, mop. Yes, that was Rag Mop by the Ames Brothers. I, I, I have no explanation. I, 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 I don't know what this song means. Uh, I don't think there's any deeper meaning to it. Uh, I think uh, the songwriters loaded as some sort of a joke, and it just happened to kind of take off. <laughs> so, uh, but who knows? It was the 50s, it was 1950. Things were different back then.
the country was a lot different from what it is now. But in any event, this was the number one song, so people liked it. Uh, it was later featured in, uh, in uh, TV shows like The Honeymooners and MASH, and it was in an episode of Alvin and the Chipmunks, uh, the original one, not the newer one. And uh, there's also a Sesame Street video of Mops singing this song. Um, it, it is what you think it is. <laughs> it's rag mop. So uh, apparently also Elvis uh, recorded a version of this song for his tryouts with Sun Records. Sun Records was the label that he uh, became famous on. Um, but no, uh, no recording of it is known to exist. So it, it's out there somewhere, but who knows? It, it would be interesting to hear Elvis sing this song. He had a very good voice. I call him the king for a reason, right? Uh, but that's Ragmop. That is what I have for you today, strangers. Thank you for giving me the time. This is, this is, this is a strange one. You know, I, I, I never thought there'd be a number one song about cleaning supplies. So um, give it a listen if you, uh, if you have the time. As again, it's Rag Mops by the Ames Brothers. And uh, do, uh, do like I'm always asking. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell your friends. Um, you can find me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Find all my handles down in the, uh, in the description. And uh, as always, tip your servers, tip your bartenders, tip your rideshare drivers, tip your delivery drivers. Uh, it's a couple extra bucks on what you normally do. It really makes a big difference for them. They appreciate it. I appreciate it. Back to the 60s for the next video. And, you know, I didn't look up what it is. I have, I have the lyrics somewhere, but I, uh, I, forget, I forget who it was. So I can't give you a teaser for it. But here's, um, here's a, an older video that I think you should check out and, uh, and a button to subscribe also. Uh, thanks again for giving me the time, strangers. I will. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.